Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel where we are teaching mathematics, preparing for people that are writing for their GC exams, grade 12 exam, grade 9 exam. This is the channel that you must subscribe to in order to help you pass those exams. Alright, so today we are looking at um, the second lesson in sequence and series. In the previous lesson, we started looking at an AP, which is an arithmetic progression. In the uh, second lesson, we continue with the an AP. So AP is the arithmetic progression. All right. So today we want to find uh, a shorter method of uh, finding the nth term. When you've been given the sequence, for instance, uh, even just something like, you know, one, two, three, we, we, we have a sequence here. Now they tell you that in this sequence, find the 30th term. Huh? Find the 30th term. Instead of you adding, we're going to come up with a, we have a formula that we're going to use in order to simplify the labor that we, we have to endure. All right? We need to have a shortcut. So, how do we find the nth term? So, without belaboring the process of deriving the formula, I thought that uh, I should present the formula as it is already driven by some mathematicians. This is the formula that we use to find the nth term, the nth term of uh, any term that has been suggested in the question. All right? So the formula for the nth term of an AP with A being the first term, D is the common difference, N is the nth term. If we tell you that find the tenth term, it means why there is n, we're going to put 10 because that is the uh, number, uh, that, that is the, 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 the term that we want, the tenth term. So it's like 10 here. This tenth term, even here, we replace. That is what is requested of us to do. So we're going just to know how do we apply the formula that is already given. This formula, we should know it. These questions do come in paper one. The formula is not given to you. All right, so let's get started. How do we find the... Uh, so consider this AP. This is an AP here, which has the first three terms. Now we want to find the what? The eighth term. So we want to find the eighth term. We are working with the first question. We are working with the first question. All right? We are working with the first question. We are working with the first question. So, what are we supposed to do here? What are we supposed to do? So, what we are supposed to do is um, we need to find the eighth term. Now, if you look at our formula, it has got A, which is the first term. We have our first term. Any is the eighth term which has been given. What is it that we don't have? D, which is the common difference. So, we need to find the common difference. It is part of the process of finding the nth term. Even when we have not been requested to find a uh, common difference as a standalone question, we just have to find it because it's part of uh, the, the formula. So the first thing that we're supposed to do is to find the common difference, which is represented or denoted by the letter D. So common difference is the second term minus the, second, the first term. If I want, I can still say third term minus second term. If you have the fourth term, you can say fourth term minus second term. All right? I mean, fourth term minus third term. All right? So, what is our second term here? Our second term is negative seven. Our second term is negative seven minus. What is our first term? Our first term is negative 11. Negative 11. How do we simplify this? This is going to give us plus 11 when we simplify these ones. What do we get here? Going by our integers, we really have to know integers. It's important to have that knowledge. Does affect. So what do we get here? We are going to get a positive number. When we have two different signs, we, are, we subtract the numerical smaller number from the larger number. Then keep the sign of the larger number. So we are going to have 4. So our D, our D, according to our question here, we need A, 
We need A and we need our D. Our A is negative 11. Our N is 8. Our D is 4. This is the information that we want. This D. This is the information that we want. This is the, form, the information that we want for the first question. It's a process we need to find. So we come to the formula. The N is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. All right? So we begin to replace. What is our A? A is the first term. In our, our first term is negative 11. So we put negative 11 here. Plus our eighth term. The question wants us to find the nth term. What is our eighth term? So we put 8 minus 1. Multiplied by the common difference, which is 4. Then we go on negative 11 plus you subtract here. What do you get? When you subtract, you get 7. 7 multiplied by 4. Alright, so at this point, there we have to make, this is an addition sign, and then we've got a multiplication sign. So going by the rules of mathematics, or rather if you like board mass, we need to make sure that we do multiply before we add. We do multiply. That mathematics is taught as errors grade 5, 6, 7. We need to multiply first before we add. Those are the rules. So we go on plus we multiply. What do we get? 28. 28 now we can subtract. We can subtract. This is a minus. This is a positive. How do we do this? We subtract a numerical smaller number from the numerical bigger number. Then our sign, our answer is going to get the sign of the uh, numerical bigger number. So, what are we going to get here? Of course, we know that it's going to be positive. Here, we drop down. So, this is going to give us 1, 7, which is 17. 17 is the 10th, is the what? The 8th term, if you like. Because when you replace, when you put N here, means this one also here the nth term is the eighth term that we are looking at so this is what is going to be our answer this is what is going to be our answer all right this is what is going to be our answer i hope we are following so then we go to the second part where we are asked to find the any formula we do not know which one so where there is any we don't know what to put so we work with n in the formula but we know what our first term is. We know what the common difference is. So those are the only things that we're going to replace. According to the information that is supplied, N is not known. So we work with N in the formula. That is why it has also been saying the Nth, uh, or find the Nth term or the Nth formula. So I'll get back to this part. I'm coming to the second question, the second part of the question, which is uh, uh, B. So this is no longer n is just n if you like n is a okay n is a this the n term we don't know what it is so that is what you're going to do just any the n formula so we are going to replace what we have this mag negative 11 plus any it remains this is 4 all right that is what we are going to do. So now, at this point, we need to distribute the 4. We need to distribute the 4 into the brackets. By, say, negative 11. 4 has to be multiplied by n, so it will be 4n minus 4. All right? So this, like, takes us to algebra, which was our first topic. Um, so we need to put the like terms together here, which will be minus... 11 minus 4 plus 4 n. All right, then what do we get here? This gives us minus 15 plus 4 n. This is our answer. If we want, you can rewrite it where you start with 4 n minus 15. This is our t n. 
this is our Tn, the nth term. The formula for the nth term, it is this one. So if you want now in this same formula, where we have, um, where we have um, n, where we have n, we can try to put, uh, we can try to put what? We can try to put 8 here. We can try to put 8 and try to put 8 to see if we are still going to get what we got in the first one. When you put 8 here, what do you get? You get 32. 32 minus 15. What do you get? I'm going to get 17. If you're going to get 17, then it means our any formula is correct. All right? That is what is expected of us to do. So we move to the second question. Move to the second question. The second question is only asking us to find the next two terms of each of uh, these sequences. All right? Now, we are saying there's a common, a common difference is the constant that we add to find the next what? The next term. The common difference is the constant that we add to find the next term. So what we need to do even here is to first find the common difference. After we have found the common difference, then we begin to add it. We were going to add it to this one to get the next term. Then the next term, to the next term again, we add the common difference to get the uh, second term of what they want us. Because they want us to find two terms. So that is what we are going to do here. So, I don't know, maybe I can even... Use this part. Okay, so we need to find the common difference. That is the constant that we add to find the next term. I'm emphasizing. So we need to find the common difference, which is found by this formula. So our second term here is 7. 7 minus this, the first term is what? 5. Okay? So, when we add these two, we get 12. So, 12 is our common difference. 12 is what? That is our common difference. So, when you add 12 to this number, which is negative 5, you're going to get 7. When you add 12 to 7, you get 19. So, to get the next uh, term here, we need to add 12 to 19. So let's do that. You add 19 plus 12, which is the constant. What do we get here? Okay? We get 1. Then these two get 3. So this is going to, the next one here is 31. This is, we need 2 again. To this 31, you add what? 12. What do you get here? You get 3 and 4. So you're going to have 43. These are the ones that we need to find. These are the ones that we need to find for the first one. I hope that is very clear. That is what we are supposed to do. P. You first find the common difference. After you found the common difference, then you begin to add it to uh, the, 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 the third term here. And then you add it again to the fourth term to get the, the, the other two terms that they want. All right, so let's get, let's come to the second one, which is this part. Um, we need two terms. We need two terms, remember. We need two terms of each of these. This one, we have done it, so I can come up to this part. All right, so... We need to know the common difference here. Remember what I did on the other part, the first lesson. Remember what we did on the first lesson. How do we find the common difference here? We first need to find the value of x. We first need to find the value of x. And how do we find the value of x? We need to prove, like, we need to find the common difference on, we say, the second term minus the first term. This gives us the common difference. We also try, we do it for the second part. Third term, third term minus second term. This also gives us the common difference. So we are using this formula, 
like to find the value of x so that it will, it will help us form the equations that we need to find the value of x. When we find the value of x, that's when we are going to get the common difference. x is not the common difference. Alright? So, let's begin to replace. The, first, the second term is 8. It's, it's, the second term is what? x plus 8. x plus 8 is the second term. Then minus the first term, which is what? x plus 15. This must be equated to the third term, which is x plus 1, minus the second term, which is 8, x plus 8. Then we solve this. We solve for x. It's going to be x plus 8. We distribute. We have minus x. And also here, we're going to have minus what? Minus 15. This is equals to x plus 1 minus x. All right? Minus x here. Then um, we get, we find, all right? We get to find that um, this is uh, minus 8. All right? So what do we get? So we need to make sure that we say x minus x, x minus x, this gives us 0. Then, so we have x minus x, x minus x, then we have 8 minus, okay? Then we also come this side where we have x minus, okay? Oh, sorry, 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 it's minus. Then we have plus 1 minus this, all right? So, oh, what am I doing? Um, this is 8. Okay? So this gives us a 0 here. This is going to give us minus what? Minus 9. No, no, not minus 9. This gives us what? Minus 7. Minus 7. Then also this side, what do we get? We get minus 7. All right, because this x is going to give us a 0, this part also gives us 0, so it's 8 minus 15, we get this, and this one. So meaning, this is our common difference. This is our common difference. Okay? This is our common difference. So, to find the common difference, so we could have just even used just one part without necessarily getting the other part, because the question did not want us to find even the value of x. That is why you saw that x cancelled on both sides. So we could have even gone straight away and just used one part without using the other part, which did not even help us because we got on the same thing. Nevertheless, the common difference is negative 7. The common difference is negative 7. Okay? That is the common difference. I hope we are getting that. So, this is not what the question wants us to do. The question wants us to find the next two terms of each sequence. The question wants us to find the next two terms of each what? Sequence. Alright? So, um, as you have seen, the common difference is negative 7. So, we need to add negative 7 to this one to get the next Okay, so we've got, you add negative 7 to this. What do you get? x plus 1 minus 7. x minus 6. So the next term here, after this one, it is going to be x minus 6. Here. x minus 6. Here. Then on this one, again, we need to add negative 7. Now, you know, adding negative 7, it's as good as if we are uh, doing a minus of 7 here. So, I've said the second one is going to be this one of the terms that we want. This is what is going to be the fourth term. And the first for those two terms that we want. Then to get the second term of what we want, you add this same thing here, a negative 7 plus negative 7. When you add, this is going to be 
which is going to be so this is what is going to be the second the first one the second one will be this one the second one will be this one we are adding the constant which is the common difference so the first thing first is to find the common difference you need to make sure that you find the common difference which i did here okay you need to find the common difference and that is what i did all right so having done that i'm going to leave the other three questions for you to do that is our culture because there's always there should always be an exercise for you to do what we have done so one two three one two three are your questions okay these that i'm getting rid of are your questions all right these are your questions so let's come to the to the other question which is slightly different from find the first term of an ap given that the third first term is 197 and the common difference is 10. let us not depart from our formula our formula this one what do we want now this has been given in this case the third first what the third first term third first third first term has been given as what 197 the common difference has been given as uh, 10. So our n is the first. The third first term has been given. So our n, that is it. Are we together? Then what are we looking for in this question? We are looking for a first term. A is what we are looking for. So now we have to begin to replace. This part is given. When we put that one here, that one is what gave birth to this one. So we are going to say 197 is equals to A, which we do not know, plus 31 minus 1, then the common difference is 10. All right? Then we go on and say this is equals to A, Plus, when you subtract this one, what do you get? What do we get? When we subtract, we get 30. 30 multiplied by 10. So we go on, have A plus 300. Are we there? So, then we go on to say, 1, the additive inverse of this one is minus, 300 is equals to a so we need to subtract this one here we subtract then our answer is going to be minus so we have 300 197 we begin to subtract so here what are we going to get what are we going to get here we got a one brought it here it was 10 here we have what 10 again so this is going to be what 3, 0, 1. Okay? Now, take note that it is going to be a negative 1, 0, 3. That is what is going to be our first 10. That is what is going to be our first 10. Take note of these questions the way I'm presenting them to you. This is how an examiner may want you to answer them. And the, these are the types of questions you are expecting in the exam. Alright, so take note of this. Take note of this. Alright, so let's look at the, the last question there. Let's look at the last question. You need to have a book where these things you are writing them in order from the first topic which we started. It's a full time class. It's a full time classroom setup it's where you write these things in full. Exercise, you answer. That will be very helpful. So, let's come to the last part. Let's come to the last part. 
where I need you to pay attention also as much as you did on the other examples that I demonstrated. Follow. Follow me. We are here. The fourth term of an AP is five. And the eleventh term of V and the eleventh term of the same AP is twenty-six. Find the first term, the common difference, and the thirteenth term. Please, we need to be very clear here. We are going to form two equations. Because we don't know the first term, we don't know the common difference, but we know that the fourth term. Remember, all these things are coming from this formula. Remember, all these things are coming from this formula. The nth term is equals to minus common difference. All right? So the fourth term here, the fourth term has been given. The fourth term has been given. Okay? The fourth term has been given as what? Five. I hope you are following me. So I'm going to say a... A, which is not known, plus the fourth term. The fourth term. The fourth term, I've replaced the nth term. Is what? Five. So the fourth term is what? So this is going to be like, 4 minus 1 is going to be 3D is equals to 5. I have formed an equation here. In this case, we have no choice but to come up with two equations and solve them using simultaneous equation method any of the simultaneous equation method that you are comfortable and conversant with you can go with that until you get the value of a and d simultaneous so we are going to take this as our equation equation one so we need to do the same we repeat the same process for the second one the 11th term is what 26 the 11th term is 26 so meaning I'm going to have a plus 11, the 11th term is what? 26. What do we have? We have a plus 10d. This must give us what? 26. So this is my equation number two, equation number one. So we need to solve these two equations simultaneously. We need to solve these two equations simultaneously. So let me to say um, well, we get this plus 10d is equal to 26. Bring a plus 3d is equal to 5. So I'm going to solve this. I'll use elimination method. I'm going to use elimination method in this case. Elimination method demands that we get rid of one of these variables, which is going to be a. We should have it should have the same coefficient. So a has the same coefficient that it's easy to get rid of. So a minus a, I'm going to get a zero, which I'm, I'm not going to write. Then I come to this one, ten d minus three d. This gives me what? Seven d. Then twenty six minus 5. This gives me 21. So I am going to solve for d and d is going to be, I'll divide this by 7, going to give me 3. I'm going to get what? 3. Alright? That is the value of d. Which is the common difference in this case. So, to find the value of a, I'm going to replace this d in one of these equations, either of them. So I choose to replace it in this one. A plus 3. What is our D? Our D is 3. Is equals to 5. A plus 9 is equals to 5. A is equals to 5 minus 9. A is equals to minus 4. This is our A. If my work is correctly done. And this is what is going to be. Um, D and A. So we can test these. Let me try them here. 
My A is what? Negative 4. My A is negative 4. So I'm going to put negative 4 here. Plus 3, 10 multiplied by D, which is what? 30. What do I get here? I get 26. Okay, so they are correct. So these are the terms. So you just need, when you are given a question in this man, you just have to form the equations and do the simultaneous equations now. When you are into simultaneous equations, it's no longer the, 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 the topic per se that we are looking at. You've gone into another uh, concept that you have to be good at. Alright? So, we are not yet done. There is this part that we are being asked to find. So, we are asked to find the 13th term. The 13th term is going to come from this. Take note. Alright. So, what is our A? Our A has been found as what? Negative 4 plus any, what is our N? The nth term is 13. So, 13 13 minus 1. 13 minus 1 is equal to what? 12. 12 multiplied by common difference. What is our common difference? Our common difference is this D here, which is 3. And I've told you to multiply before you add. Those are the rules of mathematics. So you have 36. 36, when you add these two, this is a minus, this is a positive. What do you get? We get 32 positive. This is what is supposed to be our answer. This is what is supposed to be our answer. This brings us to the end of... Um, this brings us to the end of um, these things. So, let me give you another question similar to this one that I want you to look at also. Another question similar to this one that I also want you to look at in your exercise. Okay? I'm sure it's going to fit here. I'm sure it is going to fit here. Okay? So, here is the question for your exercise. The 12th term, the 12th term of an AP is 89 and the 19th term and the 19th term is 131 then find a a and d a is the first term, D is the common difference. B and the twenty first term. And C find the nth formula. Find the nth term or the nth formula. Okay, so A I've emphasized that it's the first term. This so you need to form the simultaneous equation and solve those two simultaneously. Together with the, those other questions that I did ask you to do. So this brings us to the end of uh, this lesson. We are yet to present more lessons on this topic so that by the end of the topic, we'll have covered all the aspects that the examiner may think of presenting to you in the exam. Alright? So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel so that all the... Uh, videos that we are uploading, you are able to uh, watch them and do the questions as they are presented to you as you prepare for the exam. All right, give us the comments on why you think maybe we can uh, do better and stuff like that. Once again, thank you very much for watching.